My name is Crystalyn Reed, and I'm the process manager. I oversee the entire operations team. I look for process efficiencies and work with the operations team and then collaborate with teams outside of operations. There is no average day <laughs> in the life of Crystalline. Um, I think every day looks different in operations period. Our operations team is responsible for basically help desk services. They manage all incoming calls for our customers. They assist users with portal support. They might handle users needing help troubleshooting with their devices, activating a new device, or activating, setting up corporate email on a new device. They do a lot of different projects. They, first and foremost, are processing activities, and you know that might be device procurement. So I've lost my device, I call in, I need help getting a replacement, and the operations team, they're the people who place that order with the carrier and get that device out the door into the end user. And then they're also the person that once that device reaches the end user, that end user is going to call in and ask for support, getting the device activated with the carrier and then getting the email set up on it. So aside from those activities and that daily process, a lot of times our customers have custom requests. They might want special reporting. They might be working on a device deployment. We just recently had a huge iPad deployment for one of our customers. So they might be partnering with logistics team and helping them program those devices or organize the user information or make sure all the tracking is getting out to our point of contacts on time. They might be on conference calls. They might be planning for the next account launch. They could be training the team. There's a lot of training that happens. I think training never stops out there. And then you've got the account team leaders. They manage the relationship with the customer, but essentially they are the touch point for the customer and they relay all of the development initiatives to the customer. They are relaying all of the billing information if a customer has billing questions. They don't go to an expense management specialist. They're gonna go directly to their point of contact and that person gets the answers for them. So I kind of think of the account team leaders as kind of like a concierge team for our customer point of contacts. Um, they don't have to go through a Rolodex and say, okay, this is a billing question, so I need to go and reach out to this person. Or this is a question that I think needs portal development, so maybe I need to work with this person. No, they have one point of contact, the account team leader, who then gets that concern or idea or project in front of the right person for resolution. Every business is different. We are there to reiterate the device policy or the wireless policy. So when a business onboards with us and they go through the implementation process, if they have an existing wireless policy in place, we obviously adapt it um, and that's something that's communicated with our operations team. They're aware of what is stated in that policy. They're aware of what things go for approval and what things do not. If a if a customer doesn't have a wireless policy, that's part of the implementation process. We can help build a wireless policy for them. So I think the main difference between working with Mobi and a carrier is that we can interpret that wireless policy to the end user so we can help guide them um, based on what their business needs are and what the business really wants them to do. We do expense management, so we want to make sure that they're making choices that are smart for their business. And a carrier, maybe that's not top of mind for them. Whereas on our side, we want to make sure that if they're not upgrade eligible, that they're following the proper process to get approvals. We know what hurdles they need to jump through to get to the end goal of getting a replacement device or you know, procuring that device or setting up their email or what have you. We have direct access to their BlackBerry Enterprise servers, their EAS servers, if they have an MDM solution like AirWatch or Mobile Iron. In most cases, our customers give us access to that to help set the user up in those third-party applications, and then we're available to troubleshoot those specific applications. And if you contact a carrier, they can get through basic troubleshooting and network troubleshooting, but they're not going to be able to get into a server and reset a user on the BlackBerry Enterprise server. They're not going to be able to go into AirWatch and make sure that the user's information, intranet ID, password, domain, all of that information is set up correctly. We are a touch point for a user who has an issue with their device. And in this day and age, a wireless device, um, a mobile phone, is their connection to the world. If their wireless phone is down, they are done. Like, there's not much they can do. That might be their only contact with their customers. That's what's driving their 
revenue for their business or what's putting money on their paycheck.